Here's how I grind my own salt and pepper mix. We're going to use obviously whole black peppercorns, some rock subtle sea salt, and a pestle and mortar. Let's do it. Now, like the ratio I use, which works really well for me, is three parts salt to one part pepper. So three tablespoons of rock salt or sea salt. Followed by one tablespoon of peppercorns. Now grind with your pestle and mortar. A bit noisy. Persevere, it takes a bit of time, but got enough benefit. Flavour's unreal. Keep at it, bit of perseverance, bit of, bit of muscle power. But yeah, you can smell that freshly ground black pepper. Beautiful. Right, that's nice and finely ground. Sort of that consistency. This is beautiful. You know, when you, you finish off your meats and that with it, you just get that hint of pepper in the background. It just explodes, you know what I mean? It's wicked. All you want to do now is transfer it to an airtight container, a little one like that. I won't do too much. Three, three, three parts salt to one part pepper. It's going to last you depending on how much you use it, obviously. It's going to last you a month. So to keep it fresh each month, do it once a month, you know what I mean? Ultimate freshness. There you have it, and guys, how easy with that? So superior in taste, doing it that way, freshly ground, and doing it the other way, you know, the conventional way. Um, yeah, not only it's great freshness, but it's budget friendly as well because, you know, a pack of that and a pack of salt might cost a little bit of money, you think that's a bit dear, but once you ground it down, it lasts forever. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with pestle and mortar. I highly recommend getting one of them. You can make rosemary salt, you can put fennel in with a the salt. There's all, all options. I do my pesto with that. But yeah, so simple. But it elevates your dish just that little bit of a further. Happy cooking, guys.